Welcome to the presentation Nucleotide Excision Repair Mechanism. In nucleotide excision repair, the protein complex scans for distortions to the shape of the DNA double helix, example thymine dimer. So these distortions are caused by either chemical mutagens or UV light. This distortion causes a cascade of events leading to the removal of short stretch of DNA that includes the lesion with the help of proteins called the UVR proteins. Once the short stretch of DNA is removed, which creates a gap that will be filled by the action of DNA polymerase 1 and the nick is sealed by DNA ligase and thus the DNA damage is repaired. Let's see uh, the overall process a little more in detail. And uh, what what are UVR proteins? UVR stands for ultraviolet light repair. There are four different types of UVR proteins involved in the nucleotide excision repair in bacteria. Here in this case, this nucleotide excision repair differ from base pair uh, base excision uh, repair mechanism is that. In base, ex uh, base excision repair system, only one nucleotide on a single base is removed by glycosylase and uh, further DNA polymerase will come and seals the region. But in this case, a short stretch of uh, DNA where there is a lesion is removed out and uh, the DNA polymerase then comes and fills in the gap. With the, uh, the, so the removal of the short stretch of DNA and identification of lesion is done with the help of UVR proteins. So four different types of UVR proteins are present or involved in the nucleotide excision repair. Uh, we are considering the example of thymine dimer removal in um, bacteria E. coli. So these proteins are UVRA, UVRB, UVRC and uh, UVRD. Each of these proteins has their own functions. So let's see how this repair mechanism, nucleotide excision repair mechanism works. So when the DNA is exposed to UV light which causes lesions, example is the thymine dimer formation which causes uh, distortion of the DNA strand. So the role of UVR A and B is to scan uh, through the DNA double helix and uh, look for any kind of uh, lesions present or any kind of structural variations present in the DNA. So this is form this structure is formed by the combination of UVR A and uh, UVR B which forms a UVR A B trimer. This trimer complex scans through the through the DNA double helix looking for any types of distortions. So it, it moves through the DNA and when there is uh, any kind of uh, lesions present, the uh, this stalls at that particular region and the UVR B stays there and the UVR A will be released out from the timer, trimer. So the role of uh, UVR A is to load this UVR B onto the particular lesion region, that is the role of UVR A. And once it is, uh, once the region is identified, the UVR A will be released out from the complex. So loading of the UVR UVR B into the particular lesion region is achieved uh, uh, achieved by the utilization of energy ATP. So once it recognizes, uh, the, once the UVR B re uh, recognizes a particular dimer formation or any other kind of uh, distortion in the DNA uh, DNA double helix uh, the the UVRC comes into picture so the UVRC comes and bind to the UVRB region and it creates nicks on both end of the lesion so as you can see here there are two nicks here far away from the dimer region which is created by UVRC. So once the NIC is formed, the UVRD comes into action. So this has a helicase activity which will remove the short stretch of DNA from, from this region. So the lesion will be removed out. The timer diamond, uh, the th timing dimer region will be removed out by the 
helicase activity of uh, UVRD. You can see here this uh, time and timer region has been removed, uh, leaving a gap here with OH uh, overhang, and all other proteins will be removed out from the DNA, which was present bound, which was bound to the DNA before. So UVRB, UVRC, and UVRD are released out from the DNA strand, leaving the DNA strand with OH group uh, overhang and a gap here. To repair uh, this strand, the gap need to be filled. So that is done by DNA polymerase 1. DNA polymerase 1 identifies the o OH overhang of the 3' end and it starts incorporating complementary nucleotides. Once the complementary nucleotides has been added, the, the NIC region need to be sealed. The NIC region will be sealed by another enzyme called the DNA ligase and which completes the repair process and finally the DNA damage is repaired. This is, this is how the nucleotide excision repair mechanism works uh, with considering the example of uh, uh, time and dimer removal in E. coli. In humans uh, the process is little more complex and uh, which will be uh, I'll be making a video of that later on hope you understood if you like the video please subscribe thank you for watching